everybody, good morning. This is George from DinosaurGeorge.com, answering the questions I get from around the world. Let's get into it. Let's get it on! <laughs> All right, Josh from Los Angeles, California says, who would win in a fight between an Albertosaurus or a Despletosaurus? Josh, uh, these two animals are contemporaries, but I think, I want to think Despletosaurus, I think preceded Albertosaurus, but I do think they had overlapping time. So I do think these guys came in contact with each other. They're two distinctively different designs. Albertosaurus, a little sleeker model, a little faster. Despletosaurus, bad boy on the block. He just relies on brute strength. Um, I don't think they would ever challenge each other if they were equally matched simply because of the potential of being injured. Keep in mind, um, it's all speculation. There's, there's really no way of really knowing because there's so many variables. One could be older than the other and therefore be a little wiser and have better idea of how to fight. Uh, one could be younger than the other and have more stamina. But if all things were equal, in my opinion, a Despletosaurus was... Um, more robust and therefore more powerful and would probably um, be the victor. All right, uh, his second part of the question was, did Oviraptor count as a raptor and did it kill like a normal raptor, like Velociraptor? Well, no, Josh, that's a good question. I'm glad you bring that up. It's a little confusing sometimes because we see the word raptor in the name of some dinosaurs and yet they have nothing to do with what we consider the raptor family. The raptor family is, is uh, dromaeosaurs is a good term for the members of the raptor family. Raptors are kind of recognized as dinosaurs that have stiffened tails. Their tails are relatively stiff, but mostly they have a big recurve claw on the inside toe of their foot. Um, and that is what sort of makes a raptor a raptor. Well, Oviraptor doesn't have those features. Oviraptor uh, didn't have a claw, anything like that on his foot. Um, so therefore, he's not part of the rap real raptor family. How he fed was probably completely different as well. Oviraptor, to me, doesn't appear to be an animal that does a lot of aggressive attacking of big game. He seems to be more suited for capturing smaller prey and, um, and not really being a, a fighter. He's an eater, not a fighter. <laughs> All right. Nick from Chicago, Illinois. Hi, Mr. Blassing. Hi, Nick. You can always call me George or Dinosaur George or DG. But Nick, I really appreciate that courtesy. It's very kind of you. He said, I've got a question about Mosasaurs. I love Mosasaurs, man. Do you think it's possible that Mosasaurs like Hynosaurus and Mosasaurus Maximus were venomous? A few days ago, I was wondering if such things could be plausible given the fact that Mosasaurs were closely related to monitor lizards. And recent studies by Dr. Brian Fry suggested that the monitor lizard, in a global sense, was venomous, or is venomous. Thanks for responding and have a great day. Nick, thank you very much for writing, and thank you for the courtesy. I hope you have a good day as well. Um, I'm not familiar with Dr. Brian Fry's work, but uh, I do agree with him that monitor lizards, if not venomous, still have the potential of uh, giving you a septic bite simply because monitor lizards don't brush their teeth. <laughs> but their, their mouth seems to be just filled with bacteria. So is it possible that Mosasaurs had that? Wow, Nick, Nick, good question, buddy. Um, I don't think so, and let me tell you why. Because um, Mosasaurs, if they were venomous, they don't have hollow teeth. And the way that they would be injecting the venom would be for the venom, there would be venom glands in their jaws. And as the teeth bite down into the victim, venom is squeezed out and the venom runs down the side of the tooth, or in some cases, little grooves in the tooth, sort of like a Gila monster. The, the venom runs down into the wound. The problem is when you're in the water, the water would simply wash away that venom if that's the way you injected it. You almost have to inject your venom through something like a syringe to be able to get the venom into your victim when you're in the water. Otherwise, it becomes diluted. So we know by looking at the teeth of Mosasaur that they were not hollow, and therefore, in my opinion, I don't believe they had a venomous bite. But Nick, that is a very, very interesting question. All right, Santiago from, boy, I hope I pronounced this right, Santiago. Cuajimalpa, Mexico? Is it Cuajimalpa? I hope that's what it is. My Spanish is not very good. I can speak Spanish. I can say taco, enchilada, refried greens, and the number two special. Those, <laughs> I, I do speak a little Spanish. 
But I believe that's how you pronounce it. Santiago, if that's not the way to pronounce it, next time you write to me, let me know the proper way. He says, hey, Dinosaur George, I have recently heard about you, and I just love your answering questions idea. Well, thank you, Santiago. That's very kind of you. So here's one for you. Hope it's not tough. <laughs> he puts that in parentheses. It's not about dinos. Uh, but what ideas do you have for the next Jurassic Fight Club season? Well, Santiago, um, unfortunately, I don't think there's any chance we're going to do a second season of Jurassic Fight Club. Because of the amount of animation in it, it made that series incredibly expensive. And so it's unlikely we'll ever get to do another one. It was fun while it lasted. But if we had done a second one, yeah, I had some pretty cool fights lined up. I had... Um, Tyrannosaurus versus Triceratops in the ultimate battle. I had, uh, who else? Pachyrhinosaurus against Alberta, I mean, uh, Gorgosaurus. Yeah, Pachyrhinosaurus against Al uh, Gorgosaurus. What else did I have? I'm trying to think of who else there was. Uh, Albertosaurus and Euoplocephalus was another. And finally, we were going to try to do one uh, uh, where it was Tyrannosaurus versus Giganotosaurus and the winner versus Spinosaurus. Now, those animals didn't live together, but it would have been fun. That would have been the ultimate way to end the series. But unfortunately, my friend, no such luck. All right, Matt from Sacramento, California. Another one from California. Hello, I hope you're doing well. Well, I am Matt, thank you very much. My question is, do you think all Utah raptors lived in Utah? Matt, really interesting question. One of the difficulties in paleontology is that we're limited to understanding the range of a dinosaur simply by finding their bones. In other words, Utah raptor has only been found in Utah that I'm aware of, but it doesn't mean he was limited to that area. It simply means we haven't found his bones anywhere else. Because there was no barriers to where he lived, in other words, he wasn't surrounded by ocean, he had the ability to travel as far as he wanted. There's a very good possibility that he came as far south as Texas, maybe even into uh, south, maybe into Mexico, maybe down to South America. Nothing stopped him from being able to travel those distances, and he probably would have needed to travel to follow the migrating herds of plant eaters. So in my opinion, Matt, I do believe it's very plausible that Utah Raptor could have just as easily been called California Raptor. He could have been called New Mexico Raptor. He could have been called Texas Raptor had he been found there first. But I do think that we will ultimately find that he had a pretty wide range. My guess, as far north as Canada and as far south as Mexico. That's my opinion. All right. Uh, finally, Jeremy from Miami, Florida. Hey, DG. My question is, do you think, an Allos do you think the Allosauruses that lived in South America would have looked different than the Allosauruses that lived in North America. Wow, Jeremy, this is a cool one, man. This is very cool. One of the things we find about animals is as they migrate and move out and spread out, over time, you see that there becomes changes within um, family members. Um, it's sort of like humans. In some states, people seem to be a little taller than in other areas. And that's because um, as you are separated from your main group, you start to see alterations in, uh, in body design. You don't, you don't necessarily morph into something completely different, but you do look different. Let's talk about looks, for instance. Look at all the different facial appearances of humans on this planet. We're all related, and yet our skin color varies, our faces are different, we have different structures, yet we still all look human. We still have two arms, two legs, a head, two ears, blah, blah, blah. Um, and so I think that same thing would have been realistic in dinosaurs. I think that a North American Allosaurus may have looked different than a South American Allosaurus. Um, I think that they all would have looked different from Allosaurus from the North Pole, for instance, or Antarctica, or places like that. I think that um, different areas would have developed uh, different features, although they were the same animal, they just simply look different. All right, these were really cool questions, you guys. I wish I had time to read all of them. It actually kind of makes me sick to wonder what kind of amazing questions have been sent to me that I've never had a chance to read. But what can you do? All right, everybody, that's it for now. If you have a question you'd like to ask me, go to my website, dinosaurgeorge.com. Click on the Ask Dinosaur George page. Fill out the form. For a lot of you, I know you, you send me questions through Facebook. You send me questions through other avenues. But I just 
I, I really don't have time to answer them that way. Sneaky, sneaky. But the only way you can really get your question to answer is to keep trying through my website. For you young people out there, always make sure to practice your reading because being a good reader is very important and it's going to help you in every aspect of your life. And for everybody, let's continue to use those good manners. I appreciate it. I enjoy it very much. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you soon.